Hello guys, in e-commerce projects, what if you have complicated pricing structure? Example of flight check-in, the price may consist of regular price, then choosing the seats, then choosing the baggage and the services. Question, how to structure the database so it would be flexible, so the administrators could enter different prices, but at the same time, optimized for performance and not store too much data. In this video, I will show you my version of the solution based on this Laravel 12 project of a check-in process to airline flight. So first, the demo and then the code. So the full form consists of six steps. The first two steps have no pricing logic, so I will focus in this video on steps three to five. And step number three is choice of seat, and each seat has different logic. So for example, when we choose business class then down below the price is recalculated with additional fee of four hundred dollars but if we choose this seat it's seven dollars because it's near the window the mid seat is two dollars because it has slot for charging and this one is five dollars so this is one part of the complicated logic let's choose this one and continue to baggage which is also quite complex so you may choose for example two check bags then you may choose the weight for those bags and then you may also choose some special items and also at the end the price is recalculated that live calculation is powered by alpine js and i will talk about that in the future video about the same project and then we'll continue to services and also we can add something extra like premium meal wi-fi access or something else and then if we fill in the emergency details at the very end we have the recalculation of everything continue to review and then we have the final review of the pricing which is this and i can also break it down i can see the services here like this baggage here and then if i confirm that i accept with everything that needs to be accepted i complete check in and then it is finished and then the final price is saved in the database so this is the demo how it works now what's inside the code before we dive into the code i want to announce that this will be a series of videos about the same project which we put in project examples on laravel daily so this six step flight check-in form with complex pricing i imagine it will be at least four videos and the repository is available for premium members of laravel daily if you want to get that so the video topics will be pricing structure the database level in this video then i will talk about pricing at the end how it is saved in the database for better reporting and for the cases where the price may have changed later also we'll talk about alpine and live wire for dynamic recalculations on the page and also there will be a separate video about filament admin panel to manage the prices and see the reports and this will be probably on the second channel filament daily so yeah this is kind of the overview of the series and now let's dive into the first video about pricing structure so as you saw in the demo the pricing consists of three points seeds baggage and services and those have different logic let's start with the seats this is kind of the most hard-coded logic in that pricing structure so in the database there is a table called seats with flight id and for every flight there are a lot of seats generated with their seat number and each seat has additional fee column price which is calculated at the time of creating that seed, calculated from two other database tables. There's a table called seed pricing type, which is kind of the base fee based on the class you choose, basically in which row do you want to sit, economy, premium, economy, or business, or first class. And then on top, there are pricing rules. Here's the database table for extra stuff like, for example, extra leg room, there's price adjustment, window seat is $5 and so on. So then when creating the seat, in this case, in my case, it's a seater. So for every flight, for the first three rows, we have business class and there's a function calculate seat fee based on all those types and rules. And then seat is created with additional fee, which is from here hard coded and doesn't change for that flight. This is why I called it hard coded rule. And then another reason why is that in the admin panel, in this case, filament admin panel, this video will not be about filament, but I will show you the general logic of what admins can and cannot 
change. So seed pricing type, those economy class, they cannot add more types because this is structured kind of hard coded for basically all the flies. They can change the price here for each type. So base price of 120 can change to 130 or something, but that would be applied only for the next flights in the future. And then in the seed extras, almost the same thing. They cannot add more rules because they are, again, kind of hard coded for what that airline can offer, but they can deactivate some pricing, then it would not appear on the front. And they also similarly, they can change that pricing that would be affecting only future flights when the flight object with the seats is created. The next part of the pricing structure is the baggage. And again, let's take a look how it looks visually. So first you have how many bags carry on for free and how many checked bags. And then you have the weight of the bags and then you have special items. So what's the structure in the code and in the database? In the database, there's a separate table called baggage pricing. So there's price for each type or for each baggage item. And there's pricing type, which is an enum here on the database level. And then to understand it better, we can take a look at the filament table, how to manage that pricing. So admins can change the price for each weight item or base fee or special items, or they can make separate items inactive. They cannot delete any pricing because it will be used on the flight anyway, but they can add new baggage pricing, choosing one of those types, adding the price. And then in the future, if the price is deactivated, then they just make it inactive. And then to show the baggage selection options here on the front end, one of the main functions is in the baggage pricing eloquent model, get all active pricing. So there is grouping by pricing type. And then in the blade file, each group is shown differently. So there's one group, there's another group for weight, there's another group for special items, and then finally bag insurance. And then to calculate the final price, there's a separate eloquent model check-in baggage with this function as probably the main one, calculate the total fee, which consists of those four categories for types. So this pricing approach is also kind of hard coded to those four types, but admins have some flexibility of adding pricing to each type or editing the price values for future flights. So for example, if we go to one of those methods, we have baggage pricing from the database, then this is weight category. And those are also kind of hard coded to certain amount of kilograms. Then insurance fee has price from the database and then special items are just listed with their additional fees. So probably special items are the most flexible ones in this pricing model, in this pricing formula. So you could probably call this baggage pricing approach kind of a hybrid of hard-coded and flexible. And the most flexible one is actually the final pricing step, services. It's just a list of what you want to do or have extra. And here the admins have total freedom of whatever they want to add, remove, or make inactive. In the database, there's a database table service pricing, which just has name and price and active or inactive. No more categories, no more hard coded enums is just whatever the admins pull in as the pricing that would show in step six and would be calculated to the total pricing. So with that, what I wanted to show you is three models of pricing for the seeds is kind of hard coded to the types and rules of the seeds with only some flexibility for pricing values for each of those types. With baggage, we have some flexibility for extra services, for extra items of the baggage and for services, we have total freedom. And then all combined together, we have a database table check-ins with current step completed. And then we have two important columns about the final pricing. So this is the price snapshot for what was added extra in addition to the price ticket. So check-in things. And then the breakdown in JSON. Let me zoom in on that JSON structure this. So in here we have the prices for the seed 
for the baggage and for the services and the total as well and this is exactly the topic for the next video about this project about how do we save the final pricing and what do we do if the price is changed while well, we still need to preserve the old pricing for accounting records and history so i just gave you kind of a teaser the separate video will be on the channel in the upcoming days meanwhile we can discuss the current pricing topic again such complex pricing from three steps and each steps being individual with its own logic do you agree with my approach because the ultimate question here is what should you hard code and what should you keep flexible and how flexible because admins may totally ruin some logic if they enter something incorrectly and have you had any scenarios like this or for example clients often say that we will never change this value it should be hard coded in the code and then down the road six months later they remember that oh we want to change this and that and then you need to refactor quite a lot of code to make it not hard coded anymore have you had these situations let's discuss in the comments below and as i mentioned the full repository source for this project for this video and upcoming videos as well is available for premium members of laravel daily in the project examples section that's it for this time and see you guys in other videos